And he said, I wasn't hurt. I was just I'm sitting just there. Say. On site and online, it's great to have you with us today. Um, if you would like to follow along, follow along with the bulletin, you can either download a large print all-inclusive bulletin or a regular print bulletin, which will, you'll need a copy of the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal on the news and upcoming events page under the calendar tab of our website, which is www.gracelutheranchesapeake.org. Um, we are happy to welcome Pastor Jim Cobb back today as our supply pastor today. And now let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship by listening to the prelude. morning we wish to begin our worship with a thanksgiving for baptism if you'll turn toward the font and read with me alleluia christ is risen christ is risen indeed alleluia blessed be the holy trinity one god the wellspring of grace our easter and our joy amen look here is water here is our water of life. Alleluia. Immersed in the promises of baptism, let us give thanks for what God has done for us. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your voice thundered over the deep, and water became the essence of life. Adam and Eve beheld Eden's verdant rivers. The ark carried your creation through the flood into a new day. Miriam led the dancing as your people 
pass through the sea of, into freedom's land. And in a desert pool, the Ethiopian official entered your boundless baptismal life. Look, here is water. Here is the water of life. Hallelujah. At the river, your son, beloved son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you open the floodgates of your reconciling love, freeing us to live as Easter people. We rejoice with glad hearts, giving all honor and praise to you through the risen Christ, our source of living water, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Look, here is water. Alleluia. Let us join together in singing our gathering hymn, which is number 880 from the ELW hymnal, O God Beyond All Praising. sing our Kyrie and hymn of praise, which can be found in the front part of the ELW hymnal on pages 147 and 149, respectively. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia. Worthy is Christ, the Lamb who was slain, whose blood set us free to be people of God. Power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and blessing and glory are His. prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding. Pour into our hearts such love for you that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises which exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Acts. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. The word of the Lord. Let us sing Psalm 98 responsibly by verse as translated in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Sing a new song to the Lord who has done marvelous things, whose right hand and holy arm have won the victory. O oh Lord, you have made known your victory. You have revealed your righteousness in the sight of the nations. You remember your steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it and the, the world and those who dwell with therein. 
Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord who comes to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. A reading from 1 John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this, we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. Word of God, word of life. God. Please stand as you are able for the singing of the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. Uh, a little break from tradition. I'm going to ask the children to come up now, and we're going to read the gospel with the children here in front of me. So if the children can come up, appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Everybody, uh, Today in the gospel lesson, what I want you to do, can you make a heart with your hands like this? Okay. Yes, you can. What I'm going to do is read the gospel lesson for today, and every time you hear the word love or loved, make a heart. And can you count how many times the word love comes up in this gospel today? Okay. And want the congregation to do this too. We often say that love is from our heart. Our hearts overflow with love. So listen to the gospel in this way. I'll kind of point to you to make that sign of the, of the word too, okay? Jesus said, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master's doing, but I've called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. Do we know how many times love is in that gospel text? Nine, times. Eight, nine I think. Eight, you got eight? I think it's nine. Somebody in the congregation knew that. That's right. That's a lot. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Congregation may be seated, 
And for the children, I wanted to give you a coloring page today so that you can hear these words again. We're to love one another as God has loved us. Thank you for that. Let's have a prayer before you go back. Dear God, dear God, thank you, thank you. For, teaching for teaching us how to love. How to love. Help, us Help us to love one another. Love In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Good helpers. Grace to you today and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the first time that uh, Judy and I have done back-to-back -back, uh, services here at Grace Church. I'm sorry to come out on the short end of the stick. <laughs> In our congregation, we just finished a study of one of our Lutheran documents called the Augsburg Confession. We were a little bit behind what you adults were studying here in these weeks past. One of our Lutheran historical documents still guides our teaching. It's called that Augsburg Confession. From a long time ago in 1530, when the Lutherans had to put forth our beliefs, our teachings, what we meant in this document. It's uh, 28 articles and 20 of those were absolutely aligned with the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church, and then eight were particularly addressing abuses that the Reformation saw in the church. Well, Article 2 in that document is called Original Sin, and one theologian suggested that this is a doctrine of the faith where there's an overwhelming evidence that is within the human condition. It's something that does not have to be proven by assembling an awful lot of evidence. We've got the proof. Or as Mark Twain once said, humans are the only animals that blush or need to. He hit it just right. When we look at original sin, it seems that greed is inborn. I remember once listening to a radio commentator who had done an experiment. She was a psychologist, and they had 10 babies who were all able to crawl. And they put these 10 babies on a mat, and they gave each baby a toy, and then the adults disappeared to go and observe. In about 10 minutes, they looked at this group, and these are the things they saw. A couple went to sleep. Some went exploring the room. Some were crying. And two had all the toys. <laughs> That's another proof. So greed, sin, is very much inborn. But on the other hand, love seems to need to be learned, to be modeled, to be practiced. Loving seems to be a derivative of what's seen and experienced and known in behaviors, first in our family units. Then it expands to grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins, and then to a circle of friends. Love will be about learning to trust, learning to relate, interact, and depend on someone who's special and important in another's life. Sociologists have called this the looking glass theory of self. It says that sometimes we may become what the most important person in our life thinks we are. That fact is either scary or hopeful. 
which is it? And finally, as we grow through the years with maturity and religious faith, there comes a love that can even go anonymously to people whose names we do not know. In a former parish, we once had a person who was a speaker from Lutheran Social Services who talked about the needs of children under their care. And a hand went up from a parishioner who said, you know, uh, here's, here's a little bit of a problem. We used to get a picture of the child that we helped and we had a bio of who they were and what they were about, but we don't get that anymore. How come? And she said, you know, I want to commend Trinity Church because you all did exactly what you said you would do. When it came time to give what you were supposed to give, you did. But there were other congregations who didn't get to what they said they would do. And yet we had 40 children, for example, who would miss a Christmas if we didn't take the whole picture and divide it so that every child got something. So we were asking you, as we gave equitably to all, we had to ask you to love some children whose names you would never know. When we translate the scriptures, our English language only has one word for love. But the Greeks had four words in their language. When they spoke of love, it might mean the use of the word eros, a physical, passionate, romantic attraction. They might use the word phylos, brotherly, sisterly love, where we get the name Philadelphia, phylos, city of brotherly love. They used sterge, which meant love of the family. But then the one so often used in the scripture is agape, a love that is unconditional, undeserved, unmerited, like the love of God poured out to us and all the world. It's a love toward others whose names we may never know. Now, we're the most fortunate people because when we think of church, we have two kinds of things to consider. There is this parish called Grace Lutheran Church in which there should be some close, warm, personal friendships shared in this congregation. There is also this total corporate body of Christ in what is said and done in a ministry that is poured out in faith toward many whose names we will never know. So often this body of Christ is asked to love anonymously in ways that reflect agape, that unconditional love poured out to the world. Let me give some examples. In our congregational budget, there may be a line item called property. Some may say that and think of heating and cooling and water and electric and utilities and maintenance. And yet this building is important to all who come through the doors in any given week. There is an anonymous ministry underway in this place, through this building, through that line item called property, a ministry to people whose names we may never know. There is a line item called benevolence or mission support where we share a portion of gifts with the Virginia Synod and the ELCA. And if one could follow those gifts, there would be a planning and implementation of new missions, counseling to vacant congregations, curricula to study scripture, a sharing with children in stories and songs what comes from the Bible, there would be the study of church social statements with the current issues facing the church. Our dollars would find their way into global mission personnel while providing medical supplies, food, shelter, hospitals. Our dollars would drill wells, inoculate children, 
feed villages and help in disaster relief. Our offerings would find their way to seven seminaries and 26 colleges, colleges like Roanoke here in our own synod. We would be providing pastor support in the ministry settings of James Madison and Virginia Tech and UVA and William and Mary and so many other places where congregations take up some work on campuses. Our offerings provide Sunday school curricula, devotional material, hymnals for over 9,000 congregations in our Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. We provide for refugee camps and resettlement and hospitality of sponsorship for those who hope for new lives far away from violence and deprivation. Judy and I, through our years in parish ministry, have counted refugee resettlement of Vietnamese, Cambodians, Ethiopians, and today, Afghan newcomers. Our Lutheran social services in the United States touch one in every 50 Americans with some kind of service through the agencies we support. God's people are generous in giving, and this is the way of loving our neighbors without ever knowing the names of the recipients. This is God's grace on the move. What would our community be without our food panties, our preschools, our in-gathering of food, clothes, Thanksgiving and Christmas gifts? It's a statement of faith. It's a way to love our neighbor. It's a way to love the God who first loved us. And finally, we do return to Grace Church. We're able to see you walk into an assembly where Christ is worshiped, God is praised, and where we encounter a living word in scripture preaching and a table feast of forgiveness, new life, and joy. And we rejoice in our text for today. We did not choose Jesus. Jesus chose us. Here there's an overflow of God's immense grace and mercy. Here children and adults are nurtured in the language and the behaviors and the culture and the signs and the symbols and the substance of the Christian faith as it's indelibly imprinted in our hearts and our minds. And you serve, and you give, and you advocate for the ones whose names you may never know. It's how we, the church, practice agape love, God's kind of love given often so anonymously to our community, to our neighbor, and our world. And in the agape loving, that word in the Greek let letters in scripture, that word agape, we know that in that giving and serving, God is pleased. For we give without so often knowing the names of those who receive. Amen. Please stand as you're able and let us sing our hymn of the day, which is number 804 from the ELW hymnal, Come Down, O Love Divine. Comfort 
our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Your Holy Spirit falls upon all who hear the word. Fill your church with the gifts of your spirit and give understanding hearts to those who strengthen our commitments with our ecumenical and interreligious partners. God of grace, hear our prayer. You speak and the face of the earth is renewed. Revive your creation that habitats and every kind of living thing might flourish. Protect endangered species and help us to care for all your creatures. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your world is divided and the nations rage. Grant wisdom and vision to world leaders that they may seek justice, peace, and the good of all. Strengthen international partnerships and cooperation. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your children are in need. Comfort all those who suffer, especially those afflicted by anxiety, depression, and mental illness. Help us to, con to be conduits of your love and our care for one another. We pray especially for those listed on our prayer list and those we name now loud or silently. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your blessed saints now rest in you. Give us thankful hearts for those who have gone before us. At the last, bring us all together around your heavenly banquet table. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. 
Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Please share a sign of our Lord's peace. Peace to you. Thanks, Annabelle. Each week in worship, we take time to acknowledge that everything we have is a gift from God. Our time, our talents, and our treasures, and we are called to use those gifts to do God's work in the world. We are so thankful for all the ways that you give of your time, talents, and treasures here at Grace, where we strive to use our collective gifts to be servants to all people. Whether you give electronically or physically put a cash or check in the offering plate at the back of the sanctuary, no matter how often you give, we are thankful for your partnership in God's mission here at Grace. Now, please stand as you are able as I invite Annabelle to pray our offering prayer. Risen one, you call us to believe and bear fruit. May the gifts that we offer here be signs of your abiding love. Form us to be your witnesses in the world through Jesus Christ, our true vine. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty, and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy. God of the universe, your mercy is everlasting, and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink from this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine and bless this feast. And grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us and send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Taste and see, for the Lord is good.
Now the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us sing our post-communion canticle, which is found as number 207 in the ELW. Thankful hearts and voices raised, tell everyone what God has done. Let everyone who seeks the Lord rejoice and hear the name of Christ. Send us with your promises and lead your people forth in joy with shouts of thanksgiving. Alleluia, alleluia. Shepherding God, you've prepared a table before us and nourish us with your love. Send us forth from the banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. The God of resurrection power, the Christ of unending joy, and the spirit of Easter hope bless you now and always. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Are there any announcements for the good of the gathered? Just want to let everybody know this morning we're going to have the fellowship hour after church. Uh, we've got cake and refreshments, so everybody is welcome. Just to remind everybody, as we head into Teacher Appreciation Week, there's a couple of posters in the narthex on the table. If you could please sign, write a note, something. We're going to a couple of different uh, elementary schools this week. Thanks. So next Saturday is our next blood drive. This coming Saturday, six days, day from yesterday, May 11th. Um, one to, t uh, excuse me, 9 a.m. to 1 a uh, in the afternoon. We still have a lot of openings. The need is great. Please, please sign up. Let people know. Anybody you know that can donate, please let them know. Again, you go to redcrossblood.org, put in keyword Grace Lutheran, sign you right up. If you have problems, give me a call. See you then. We'll have chocolate too. <laughs> if you didn't notice when you came, when you drove in today, please notice as you leave, our flower beds were mulched yesterday and they look wonderful. And I just want to thank the people that were here with all the wheel bearing and the breaking and everything. Thank you so much. And I'd also like to welcome former members, Tracy and Mark, who are visiting with us today. So uh, seeing any, no other announcements, um, I'll kind of go through the weekly schedule. Um, so on today, uh, as Faith said, after worship, we have our fellowship hour. Um, on Wednesday, uh, we'll have potluck dinner at 6.30, Bible study at 7, which will be hybrid. Um, on Saturday, uh, the blood drive. And then uh, next week, um, after church, uh, we would normally have craft group. That is canceled. Um, so with that, uh, let us stand as we are able and sing our sinning song, which is Joyful, Joyful. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Joyful, joyful, we are 
adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, owing to the sun. Melt the clouds, melt the clouds of sin and sadness. Drive the dark of doubt away. Joyful, 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 we adore you. Hearts unfold like flowers before you. Joyful, joyful, we adore you. Joyful, we adore you. All your works, all your works with joy surround you. Earth and heaven reflect your ways. Stars and angels sing around you. Center of unbroken praise. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness. Drive the dark of doubt away. Joyful, 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 we adore you. Hearts unfold like flowers before you. Joyful, joyful, we adore you. Christ our brother, all who live in love are thine. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine. God our Father, Christ our brother, all who live in love are thine. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy. God our Father. God our Father, Christ our brother, all who live in love are thine. Teach us how to love each other, lift us to the joy divine. Joyful, 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 we adore you. Hearts unfold like flowers before you. Joyful, joyful, we adore you. Joyful, we adore you. Hallelujah. Go in peace, rejoice, and be glad. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.